What's going on now? This is Robert F. Smith. He is the wealthiest African American. He surpassed Oprah Winfrey. He has a net worth of five billion dollars. Wow, that's excellent. However, he's a former chemical engineer and investment banker. He is the founder, chairman, and CEO of private equity firm Vista Equity Partners. Uh, Smith was ranked by Forbes 163rd richest person in America. He was number who is there 162 people richer than him? Good God. Uh, Forbes 2018 list of world's um, billionaires. So net worth, this says 4.4 billion. I read five and another one. Um, he's gonna class in 2019 Morehouse historical black college males, um, young black men. He's gonna pay off their student loans. That's amazing. I hear it was at least 45 million dollars. This man just gave. Understand, student loans is the new trap. This is this is putting students into debt tremendously. Um, some students take their entire lives trying to get out of debt by paying this horrendous amount of money after college. Um, the the interest is bananas, and. The average student there in Morehouse is probably at $100,000 each. Some of them two, some of them $300,000 worth of student loan debts. And this man, Robert Smith, um, distinguished this. Now, if you watch my video, I if you watch my videos, I always say we have to do it ourselves. I commend this man. Instead of going to somewhere UCLA like Dr. Dre did and uh, donated to the school, Dr. Dre is also a billionaire. One thing that somebody else pointed out and said African-American billionaires don't care about their people because they don't give back. And if they do give back, they give back pennies, if any. Um, today was a new day. You know, we do Michael Jordan, Oprah. Understand this. We have a network of, of together. African-Americans are worth like zero. Black women are worth like a negative five dollars. What he did was amazing. Um, I would like... What we got to understand is we must set our children up for success. What we're doing now, we're going out spending a $1,000 for a four and five year old birthday party. We are going out buying our kids Jordans. We're going out buying them stuff for the... Uh, uh, you see prime spending $5,000 dresses and red bottoms. We're buying our children $500,000 outfits. But why are we not setting our children up for success? We know the trap. We see the trap. Student loans is one of those traps that they trap our children into. Okay, cool. We got to give y'all jobs. Okay. However, we want every dime you make. Even we, we, we got uh, we got to hire some of y'all and some of our businesses. Okay. But we will never see a penny of that. You, you'll see pennies of that. So, yes, you may get a, a degree from... A very good college and they get a job making 75 but now you had three hundred thousand dollars in debt and you paying two thousand dollars a month in student loans so what I would like to see those students and this is an amazing thing he did now once they get hired at a job they can put that money towards building wealth wealth for themselves put back into the community however there's a Chinese billionaire here in Chicago you know what he did? He took $18 million and dumped it into um, Chinatown for businesses. Every one of them businesses. This is what he did. He put Chinatown, their business on every corner. Everything you ever need in any state, any city in the United States, if you go into, there's a Chinatown. And if you go into Chinatown, they got banks. They got hotels. They got hospitals. They got restaurants, grocery stores. Food chains. They even got restaurants in every one of our communities. Every one of our communities. I would absolutely love to see one of our billionaires. And, and one of the things I talk about on this channel. Stop begging others to give to you. Stop begging the mayor, the governor, the president. They don't owe us nothing. We have to do it ourselves. Nobody's going to do nothing for us 
but ourselves. And I would love to see our billionaires get together and take our communities and make them a Wall Street. Every one of them. Businesses, food chains, not only in our communities, but in their communities that we own. Take all that money, $5 billion. Oprah worth at least $3.3. Michael Jordan worth about three. Dr. Dre uh, is a billionaire, if not close to being a billionaire. Them five, four, five people alone should not, it shouldn't be an African American in this country that should be struggling right now. Um, what I would like to see, don't get me wrong, I'm not the state the crab in the barrel. I commend this man, hats off to him, because he went to a historical black college and did this. Dr. Dre just sent it to any damn college, and it, it, it went to UCLA. I, UCLA and benefits us. So what he did was amazing and excellent. However, I would love that I can't wait for a billionaire uh, or possible one of our, I would love to see one of our billionaires pour banks in our community, hotels, restaurants, food chains in our community. Therefore, all of our children could just go down the street, have jobs, and we can build wealth and wealth and wealth where all our 1.3 trillion dollars that we spend a year but however do you realize 98% of that is spent outside of our communities 98% of that spent outside our communities our children are killing each other why they have to sell drugs on the corner of the street they can't go down the street and get a job a lot of these children we set them up for absolute failure we don't save we don't our children what they do with their children is they set their children up, other, other communities, they set their children up with mutual funds, stocks and bonds, real estate. They set their children up with bank accounts, trust funds. They set their children up with uh, college funds. So by the time their children are 18, they walk out of there with $300,000 cash, a $300,000 $300, home, businesses, real estate, stocks and bonds. Mutual funds. Their kids are set up for success. Our kids are set up for failure. Our kids walk out of high school and college with zero dollars. No real estate. No trust funds. No mutual funds. No stocks and bonds. Nothing. No businesses. Our children walk out of high school with absolutely nothing. Then our children have to get student loans. So the few successful students... And that's a few, but we got a, we got a decent amount of uh, kids that go to college and be very successful. But however, the bank already got their hands knee deep in their pockets forever. For hundreds of thousands. Then you got a $100,000 student loan debt that becomes 200000 by the time you finish paying that joint off. If you ever pay that joint off. So hats off to Robert Smith. He's a very successful man. Uh, commend him all the way. Um, I talk about that on our show, on, on this show. We have to do it ourselves. I'm not begging nobody to do for us. If you're mad about it, create it yourself, and let's do it ourselves. Um, he's he's very low key. You notice nobody knew about this man. They said even on his website, not one picture. I haven't looked yet. I will take a look. This is his commitment uh, speech here. <laughs> And my family is making a grant to eliminate their student loans. class will make sure they pay this forward. And I want my class to look at these alumnus, these beautiful Morehouse brothers, and let's make sure every class has the same opportunity going forward. Amazing, amazing. Finally, somebody that went to our community and gave back 
and that's a lot of money. Don't get me wrong, that's a lot of money. I heard it's like 45 million. Don't get me wrong, he's worth 5 billion. Um, if I had 5 billion, now one of us have to work. I would go put businesses to where, I would, I would put it like this. None of y'all wouldn't even have to go to college. That's what the Chinese do. Chinese billionaires from China, what they do in the uh, Chinese communities is they pour billions into the Chinatown. They got hotels they don't even have to leave. When they, when they people come over here from China, they already set up. Okay, cool. Go here. Look for a job. Okay, cool. You could go work here in Chicago. Boom. We got a business set up in every one of our communities. And then they just got food chains everywhere. Boom, 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 boom. boom. There, no Chinese have to even work. What they do is look out for themselves and, they, and, they, and theirs. And there ain't nothing wrong with looking after yours. They do. Everybody else look out for theirs. We the only ones that don't. Hats off to Robert. He look out for his own. That's what we should do. Pour that money into the community to where you could build businesses, have construction businesses, where we could build our own houses, have a bank to where we could get our own loans to own our own houses. Have a business on the corner so these young brothers don't have to go out here and shoot each other, kill each other, to where they can go down the street and get a job. It ain't even giving a handout to the community. It's just building a business in the community. You can keep the profit, but just have somewhere for these young brothers and sisters to go work every day. Don't get me wrong. Hats off to them. Good gesture, no question. Um, but I'm looking at um, our community as a whole, our millionaires, our billionaires as a whole. We got to come back and reach back for everyone. Um, like this brother did, um, you know, it's up to us. We got to change our mind state first. One thing is for certain, you can't just dump, like, even if we got reparations today, we wouldn't know what to do with it. We spend 90% of our money outside our community. We spend money f just recklessly, recklessly. We don't invest a dime. We spend $10,000 on proms, Jordans, cars, clothes. We don't have, we don't know real estate. We don't know nothing. So this is what we have to do. Give back to your community like this brother did. Anyway, this is my motto here. Are you going to cry and blame your oppressor before you get up off your knees and do it your goddamn self? Yes, we got to get up off our knees and do it our damn selves. Nobody's coming to save us but us. Hats off to Robert Smith. Um, I will be looking forward to anything else that he does um, in the future. I will be looking forward to seeing those brothers from the Morehouse succeed, um, stack generational wealth, put that money that they're saving, extra $1,000 a month they will be saving to put it towards real estate, mutual funds, stocks and bonds for their children not to ever have to get student loans and this, that money right there will trickle down to those Morehouse College kids and then their kids and their kids as well so what he did was a generational amazing thing anyway i want you guys to like comment let me know what you think about this video peace peace